Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I am showcasing two new stamp sets from Kitchen Sink Stamps. These are part of the summer 2020 release. One is called Watercolor Prayers. The other one is called Watercolor Thanks. And it's pretty cool because they are a layering stamp set, but they have that brush stroke look. So you, if you're interested in doing brush strokes, and like me, having difficulty with it, where to shade and shadow, these two stamp sets make it easy for you. As well as making it easy, they have some great sentiments to go along with them, but let's stamp them out and see how they look together, okay? So I'm going to just use some Nina Solar White I've cut down for you already. And I am gonna use my Misty because I wanna make sure that they are lined up perfectly. Inside my Misty, I do have my uh, foam mat because these are photopolymer stamps. High quality, made in the United States, super fast shipping. And a piece of sticky grid under there that's gonna hold my um, paper in place. And then I just move my magnet off to the side. I'm gonna start with this one that's um, marked prayers. And I do like the blue colors of ink. So we're going to use some Catherine Polar blue inks here. The job, Fiesta Blood, something borrowed, and suede shoes. Okay, so we have four colors of blue inks. Okay, and you can pick up these mini Catherine Pooler inks from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I'll link that for you as well. But use whatever inks that you have. So I'm going to make this a pretty simple card. Just leave it pretty blank. Just put the sentiment on there. And they do number them for you, one, two, three, four. So all you have to do is just follow that and it should line up pretty easily. Don't forget, you can also get the SVG from the not, or from the Kitchen Sink Stamps shop. When you put these on in your basket, make sure you add the SVG cut file and then you will have a free outline die cut with the purchase of your stamps that you can use in your electronic die cutting system. So if you have a scan and cut, a silhouette, a Cricut, we're gonna start with all that jazz from Katherine Pooler. These are new inks to me. They just looked very vibrant. So um, getting the minis is nice because you can use them for traveling, but it's also nice to try them out and make sure you like them. So far, they've been pretty fun. Lots of bright colors. I like the spongy ink pads, very similar to uh, Stampin' Up! ink pads but you try them out. And I like the different layers of color, so when I'm using stamps like this, with kitch kitchen sink stamps, I don't have to um, guess about my colors. I just swatch them out and then see where I wanna go from there. Okay, so that's layer number one, which is our most solid layer. When I am done stamping for the first time, I put them back on their backer sheet here. That way it's easier for me to see what layers go where and also for storage so that's layer one okay layer two is the next one up and these are pretty easy to see through when lining them up so you don't really have to think too hard about it okay for layer number two we are going to use fiesta blue And again, use what inks you have. Normally I use my all to new inks when I'm doing multi-step stamping, so use what you have. Okay, you can see that the certain connection areas are a little darker. Okay, it's gonna be more pronounced the more we go. And you don't have to do all four layers. You can just do, you know, one or two layers if you don't wanna get that deep into it. Layer three. We're going to use something borrowed. Definitely can start to see how more pronounced those color differences are in the layers. And 
then layer four is our final layer. And we're gonna use our darkest blue on this. Oh, it would help if I was putting the stamp on the right way, Nance, okay. I think these sentiments came out at the perfect time because a lot of us are sending out thank you cards and thinking of you and prayers cards to everybody after everything we just went through. So these have uh, unlimited use, perfect timing. All right, that is really cool. You can definitely see the different layers. These colors tend to blend back a little bit. So I'm gonna give that a second to do that. And I'll read you guys some of the other sentiments that are on here. All right, here we go. Um, prayers for you and your family for brighter days ahead. Uh, my prayers are with you. Sending up prayers. Thanking God for answered prayers. Um, prayers for God's help on the hard days. Prayers for peace. Our prayers during this sad time of loss for comfort and strength and for a speedy recovery. So this is awesome. This is awesome. And you may not have a sentiment that you want to put on here right now. Well, you can start this part of it. And then all you have to do is... Put this on a card base, have it ready to go. Whoops, that's my card base is slide away from me. And then just pick your sentiment that's appropriate for the time and just put that on there and you're ready to go. Or just put it on the inside even. But something even as clean and simple as that makes a nice, quick, easy thinking of you card. We don't always need to have foil and bling on our card. Something simple like this, right? Let's do another one. Let's use the other set since we're here. And this one is the multi-step watercolor. Thanks. And I'll show you here is the um, shadow die cut you can uh, cut out with your die cutting machine as well. All right, so let's do this one. Let me put these blues away. I have no idea where these guys go. All right, and grab another piece of Nina Solar White here. Stick it down on my sticky grid. And we're gonna start with the first layer. I always need thank you cards, so this is perfect timing. All right, for this one, I'm gonna do a little more ombre. I'm gonna do some uh, red, orange, and yellows. So let's start with, um, let's start with Tiki Torch. Now these ink pads have a very spongy pad to them, so a little bit goes a long way. You don't wanna, you wanna be very lightly, gently tapping. You don't wanna smush that ink pad down because you're just gonna ooze ink everywhere. So a light tap works good. That's the first layer. Now Kitchen Sink Stamps is going to do a giveaway of these new stamps. So what you'll wanna do is make sure you're following um, Kitchen Sink Stamps on Facebook. There is a Fans of Kitchen Sink Stamps page you'll wanna join. Also follow them on Instagram. And then I wanna know, comment down below, um, which do you make more of? Do you think you make more thanks cards or more kind of thinking of you um, prayers kind of cards. So this second color is Orange Twist. That's what we're gonna use for layer two. 
Like I know that I definitely make more thanks cards, but I think there are some people that do a lot of prayers and thinking of you cards. And then just follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well. It's Nancy Stamps 15 for both. And I will put some kind of a photo up for your chance to win and you'll just need to comment on that photo and tag someone you think would enjoy these stamp sets. Okay, moving on to layer three. These are very, very easy to layer. So simple. I love the modern scripty font. Really cute, okay. For the third color, we're gonna go in with Tutti Frutti. Wow, it really does have this, look at that ombre effect, this brush stroke, watercolor look. I could never do this with markers. I would love to have that talent like Christina Warner. I do not. <laughs> and then only one more layer to go. This is so easy to mass produce too. I should have done that. I mean, you just go in and you stamp layer one, 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 one. Then you go in layer two, 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 two. I think I'll do that when I'm done here. And that way I'll have a whole stockpile of thank you cards ready to go. All right, and then for the final layer, I think we are going to use Samba, which is kind of a pinky red. I really like that orangey coral color. That is so nice. There we are. Oh, I really like how that turned out. All right, so we're gonna have that just a second to dry and I will again read you the sentiments on this set. So this one is thanks a million, thanks from the heart, a note to say thanks, thanks so much. Thanks for all that you do for everything. A heartfelt thanks, thanks for being you, thanks you're the best. Thanks friend, thanks ever so much, thanks from all of us. So really cute, one, two, three, four layers. Again, you could just do two layers and stop. I think four layers, obviously it makes a statement. Look how easy that was. And then you have all of those cute sentiments. And then don't forget, you know, you have the SVG file as well. Use the inks that you have. Again, I just used the Catherine Pooler inks on this one. They were really easy to um, stamp out, but I often use Altenew inks or Stampin' Up! inks or whatever ink companies you have. Inside every stamp set from Kitchen Sink Stamps, you do get the directions which tell you where to line up spots are. On this one, I didn't even need to look at it because it was so easy to do, um, but yeah, lots of fun. And if you have an issue with lining them up, you can always just leave your color guide blank and then use it to line up. I just put my stamps on there, but you certainly can use this as a lineup sheet as well. All right, so don't forget to comment down below and let me know which one you liked better, either the thanks or the prayers. Which one, which one do you make more cards of? That's what I'm curious to know. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Nancy Stamps 15. Make sure you're also following Kitchen Sink Stamps at Fans of Kitchen Sink Stamps and Kitchen Sink Stamps on Instagram. We're going to have a giveaway with some of these new stamps. There are quite a few sets. So I think there's six total sets in all. So we'll do a giveaway on YouTube. We'll do a giveaway on Instagram and we'll do a giveaway on Facebook. So make sure you're following us on all three mediums. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them down below. Everything I use will be linked in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye guys.